driving my car so she done messed around and turned the radio on and as you can see I clearly cannot contain myself when there's so many different types of music on the radio the gym was great this morning I did the exercise bike for an hour I really love integrating that into my routine for some variety if you saw this past Friday and Saturday I was in Atlanta with Matt and Mega aka Keto Connect and I just got my entire life like they are the nicest most genuine hilarious awesome people and I mean Julius right I mean right also Miley she's actually really cute and really friendly in person like I'm obsessed all the way obsessed but that means that I missed out on work Friday and Saturday so I'm so behind on so much stuff so I have a lot to do today meaning Meal prep this week has to be basically non-existent. I ordered some of those Ray's The Valley wraps because I saw everyone on Instagram with them and I was like, I wanna try those, those look delicious. So basically, I just have a lot of meats at home and I bought some meats, so I got pulled pork, I bought that lunch meat, I bought some random cheeses, uh, I have a variety of spreads at home, mayonnaise and barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna have to like put together a meal prep that involves all that stuff and, and see how my macros come out. First stop is the shop. I haven't been there in a couple days and I mean, for all I know, the place could be burned down. Like, I really don't know how they get along without me. Just kidding. Okay, so major score. I got to the shop and was gonna do some work and I was getting a little hungry, but I didn't bring anything with me. But in the refrigerator, I forgot, <laughs> were two leftover brownies from the goodies bake mix that I made for my meal prep last week, uh, link to which you can see up above. I heated them up in the microwave for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And cream soda Zevia is life. and I just did something that I have never done before, I don't think. I managed to come up with a meal plan that requires zero cooking. <laughs> it does have more processed food in it than I normally eat, but I mean, it'd be like that sometimes. I just don't have time to cook this week, but I thought I was gonna at least have to do something. Oh yeah, I have to chop onions, that's it. Everything else I heat in the microwave. So now I'm just gonna sit here and paint my nails and I will check back in at the end of the night and let you know what I'm having. Do you ever have one of those days where you like set out with all these big plans and then you end up accomplishing like actual nothing? Like nothing you wanted to do? The only thing I did today, paint my nails, which I mean, okay, but like relatively low <laughs> on the priority list in the grand scheme of things. I was supposed to clean up, go to a party, I didn't even meal, I didn't even have anything to meal prep. And I still have no energy. I don't know. 
I'm not asking any questions, but today was a bust. And since everything for my meal prep was basically like already packaged and made, uh, let me show you what I'm having. For meal one, I am having these Trader Joe's low carb tortillas with some Walmart pulled pork. I have some barbecue sauce here. I'm gonna have a, like a half ounce of taco cheese left over from last week. I did chop up my red onion. That's about the only thing I actually did today. For my snack, I'm having these protein muffins that I made in Atlanta with Matt and Mega. These are pretty much the same exact ingredients as the protein waffles, just made in muffin form. And I love that so much better because it gets less dishes dirty. So I'm very excited about that. So protein waffle and butter, that's gonna be awesome. And then for my last meal, I have these Raise the Valley flatbreads and I'm going to just make a regular old sandwich. So I'm having some blackened chicken. Look at the different types of cheeses that I bought. There's a smoky bacon cheddar, jalapeno American. So I'm having two um, flatbreads. So that's one each day. I mean, that's exciting. I'm having regular mayo, judge your mom. Uh, oh, these pickles are for the pork. You know, like the pork pickle onion sort of thing. That's what I was going for. Mustard is for my sandwiches. And then I have some parm crisps. I don't know when I will have these, perhaps with meal one. And then not pictured is my passion tea, but I did bring out my heavy whipping cream so that you knew I was having that with my passion tea. And look there, we just got a stove top full of junk, but it's keto and it's all gonna taste good. Everyone's journey and everyone's macros and everyone's tastes are different. So these meal preps are just a way for you to see what I'm eating and hopefully serve as inspiration for you to come up with some of your own meal ideas. In the comments, tell me your favorite flavor of Zip Fizz. Am I missing out on something? Also, what's one quick and easy keto meal that you like that requires no cooking whatsoever? I need to have some backup ideas in case I have another day like today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Give this video a thumbs up. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal prep videos, most of the time that actually involve actual cooking. Uh, and then also I make weekly what I eat Wednesdays and monthly weigh-ins. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week with like actual food.